So here we are, Scott's basement, doing another game of black powder. <clears throat> this time we are doing uh, six. No, is it eight by twelve that we're doing? Uh, no, it's eight by six. No, no. Two four by sixes, so twelve by eight. Yeah, yeah. six by eight. Yeah, eight and we are doing uh, British versus the French, um, and this is the battle for the Grande Abuncia farm from the Albion Triumphant book. Uh, for black powder. So <clears throat> in that book, uh, this this is actually very close to the map here. Uh, so the, the gist of the story is we've had to, we've already done the deployment. So the British, there's three brigades. The French, we've got three brigades as well. And we're trying to take, really, we're trying to take this farmhouse, but this farmhouse is worth six points. Each of these hills uh, are worth one point each. Uh, the central vineyard there is worth three points and if you can capture the opposing um, like that's the British so if I capture that house as the French I get three points and likewise if they capture this house as uh, the British they get uh, three points and it's a 12 turn uh, game and we've already done the first set of moves we had to pick uh, the order of brigades coming on the coming on the board and we also just said that no matter what you roll for command, uh, you will get at least one move. So, um, Mark, I know you don't know that much about what uh, all your brigades are, but I know you're commanding one brigade, so why don't you take us through what, you, what you've got. So, I have the indecisive, low independence uh, uh, line infantry. Right. And then there's the, I believe, completely average... Three, three units of line infantry and horse artillery. Horse artillery? I think it's horse artillery. And then there's the brigade of two sets of rifles. Yeah. One small rifles, one regular rifles. They rolled a double one cavalry. for their command. Triple. Yeah, or, they rolled a yeah, triple so they, move. So triple move. So that's why the infantry is able to move 36 inches on the first turn. Uh, or the first deployment. And on my side, I've got a brigade of three regular infantry. So one, two... Three. They're in attack column formation right now. And they've also got a gun with them. Um, you might be wondering why we're not deploying over here and marching up this uh, ridge to the hill. And that's because we have to start, we move on from six inches from where the road uh, the road comes in on. So that's that reason. So these guys only moved uh, one move. And the gun is over here with plans on going onto the hill. Uh, I've got another brigade of two large units, so that's these unpainted guard guys with a gun that moved two moves, and my horse guys, two units of uh, chasseurs, even though they're dragoons, uh, with one unit of horse artillery. So that is our first turn movements. Uh, we did it back and forth, and then we're just going to take it from here, rolling. You guys rolled the initiative, right? Yeah. So they're going to be doing their shooting and such. And we'll catch at the, uh, I guess at the end of this turn, although uh, there's probably not going to be much more, there's no, probably not going to be any shooting, so we'll catch at the end of turn two. All right, so on there, we decided that was the preamble, so on their turn one, these guys uh, did not roll under their morale, so did nothing. This whole brigade, battal uh, yeah, brigade, blundered and did a left-hand turn, so they were facing this way, and now did a turn left towards the... Um, church over there, and these guys ended up rolling uh, three moves, and his order was get to the hill and reform into a firing line, which they did. On my turn, my I issued a move order for the uh, this brigade. Um, these guys did not get to move. However, the horse artillery was limbered, and horse artillery that are limbered, if given a move command, will still get to move even if, even if it fails. So I moved him up and unlimbered. Um, <clears throat> the two large infantry here uh, ended up blundering but moving forward, which was the order I gave them anyways. But before they blundered, I had ordered the gun to get on the hill. So this gun here is part of them and is now going to be out of command, but that's fine. So long as it turns around, it'll be fine there. And then the general was able to give uh, this unit, this unit, this unit, a forward move. Um, 
of three moves, which they did, but they're up against their compatriots here. And But I did order this piece to go on the hill as well. It's hard to see, but this is actually a hill. We've got styrofoam underneath. But unfortunately, <clears throat> that unit of uh, cavalry way over there is just 49 inches, so it's one inch out, so I wasn't able to fire. And on my turn, my horse artillery fired, uh, but rolled a one. So now it's going to be turn two, and... They're going to have to reorganize their lines here. Um, we did decide that since this is supposed to be a hill, we moved the vineyard out of it, so this doesn't, it's not going to block any line of sight. We should actually put the hill underneath there. But that's that, so on to turn two. All right, quite an eventful turn two. Uh, I can't believe it's going to go 12 turns since we're already this close to one another. Uh, he was able to deploy the Casadors, which can skirmish but aren't currently skirmishing on the hill. Yes, we did replace the vineyard with the proper hill. That's worth three victory points. Uh, these guys deployed in skirmish order and fired on my horse artillery gun, doing a wound. These guys fired onto my horse artillery gun, doing a wound, So they were sh and they were shaken and disordered. It's hard to see. But I've got little tokens here. <clears throat> um, all part of the battle plan, this one brig uh, brigade that had blundered over here, they got a triple move, so it was turn right, face, and advance... Um, up onto the hill, and your guys, uh, yeah, they just deployed into a line. Um, now, we did pre-measure. You can see my guns up on the hill there. They're, like, f just outside of range as well, so it's like, ah, oh, just too bad. Um, We're waiting for the right moment. Waiting for the right moment, and now over yonder, I was going to do a brilliant charge, which, of course, I failed. They, they rolled over the morale, because otherwise I would have smashed into that unit up on the hill. Uh, the artillery gun fired, and uh, Scott, so, <clears throat> you just coming back from helping him paint. Yeah, you're, you're one wound away from uh, these guys. What? Yeah, I fired, I fired with everything I had into them, and I, was, I fired one unit into them and disordered them. So they're disordered and shaken, and they're disordered. So, so you rolled sixes? Three. I did. I rolled lots of sixes. You did? Wow. So you had a... All right, so <clears throat> this turn was fairly uh, eventful in that this unit of ferocious hussars charged my unit of chasseurs. I countercharged. He still beat me because of ferocious charge, which means you reroll your first round of close combat hits. And then his sweeping advance was to charge into, there was another unit of horsemen right here, which broke or fell back twice way back there. So that was bad news for them. On my turn, uh, oh sorry, and he also did enfilading fire, which is shooting into the flank of this unit here. And blanked it. And blanked it, but still uh, made them so they're disordered. So this unit just reformed, this unit charged into the skirmishers and somehow still lost. And these guys did absolutely nothing, my cannons missed. And so now it's turn five or something. All right. Oh, and it has to be said, these guys blundered a second time and are way, way off of here. So, not that you need them right now, but <laughs> that is still uh, worth noting. Like, look how far away they are from the battle line. It's like, run away, run away. But they can change formation. They can change formation. <clears throat> so, can I change formation to facing? Yeah. So, yeah. On, our on his turn, go ahead. I'm just, I'm just doing the previous one here. Yes. Have a frickin' Luya. So he finally, what'd you do here finally? Just now? Untook, you took the shaken off finally, so this goes to two. Yep. There we go. Yeah, but. Um, so we fought, these guys are shaken, I fought, I finally made the, uh, sorry, no, I lost once again to the skirmishers, but did enough wounds to the skirmishers that they're shaken. Um, they did some shots and shooting to me, my cannons did nothing again. Uh, my two units who were sitting here and were both shaken, my brigade commander tried to rally them and instead rolled a blunder and they understood that as to be a turn left. And you'll note, the astute readers will see that there's only about half an inch to turn left, so they moved left off the field and because they're both shaken, they're off the board. And so that was that turn, so now it's turn six and yeah, what are you guys doing? I'll just film the entire turn. So you're issuing commands? The brigade. Yep. So, so they um, they roll ten under. 
Yeah. So they basically they're not shaking anymore, and now they've turned to, um, face, to face that right. That guy is there. Right. They can't do anything. No. So that's that brigade. Done. Yep. So he's still attached because he had to be. Oh, yep. But he's no longer shaking. Correct. And I was shooting at this unit because if it was shaken and the brigade commander is on there and I break them, the brigade commander is off the board. Yeah. Much like what happened over here. So the cavalry... Yeah. Um, ...are also shaken because they're at three, right? Yes. Yeah, but yes. they're four. Are they four? Are they four? They're like... They're four stamina? I think so. Or are they three stamina? Three. There should probably four morale, three stamina. They should be. Uh, three. So they're shaken as well. Here's your... Okay. So they can't do anything. anything. No. They're like much of my army over here, just sitting yeah, tight. Okay. And so they, right they can shoot, they can shoot, they can't do poop. Yeah, but this is the command. They commands. can pull back though? This yes, is the command. They can pull back. Do they take one of these off now? No. Yeah. Your brigade commander has to do that. Okay. Yeah. So they stay at three. That's right. All right. The gun. Well, no. Oh, are you it's doing the gun first? Yeah. yeah. Well, look, it moved. It moved. So, um, so it's going to get up there and unlimber and all that sort of crap. Yeah. We already know that it's too far to shoot by like an inch. Although now you might be further ahead, so we'll have to measure that. So the rest of the battalion that did uh, turn. Yep, so these guys, um, so they're going to advance that way as, okay. fast, as, as far as they, far they can. As they can. And Seven, they can go so one. Two. This is from your general? How does it two? No, no. Their Seven, leadership? So it's one. Yeah, so it's one. And this is a seven. Well, hey, look, at least they're moving forward. Yeah, they're going the right direction this time. Yeah. Somebody's hungry. No, or just wants in. Just wants in. These guys yeah. advance towards the hill. Yep. Oh, oh three yeah. moves. Nice. So, what's that, 36 inches? 36. I guess, look at that. They're back into the fight. And despite the fact we're playing a 6x8, you can see that in one move. Like, look how far that and is. I want, to, I want to move these towards the uh, farmhouse. Yeah. Oh, yes, baby. Six. There so we that go. gets for uh, two. Yeah. So, 20, 40, so that's the command slash movement phase. In the shooting phase, they're gonna, he's going to shoot into here. They're going to shoot. They're going to shoot. Yeah. And there's going to be no close combat. So I'm not going to film all the shooting, but that's basically the turn. If there was close combat from a prior fight like we had with the skirmishers, we'd fight that as well. Let's try this again. This whole time I've been uh, talking, <laughs> it's been recording. Uh, I've lost uh, in another, another brigade. Uh, these guys here shot, did one extra wound to my large guard unit, which of course broke. And then over here I had another guard unit. And... Uh, Six shots, three from each of these uh, line units, all six hits, put me to nine wounds, and they broke as well. So now I have one brigade left, which is these guys, uh, which I would be below half uh, for my whole army if it weren't for this one horse artillery gun, because the rest of their brigade, they moved left off of there. This is uh, my dead pile. So on turn six, this should probably, they could probably finish me off here in the next couple so <clears throat> I lost oh, another forward. unit somehow, and the, re the rationale is this. So I had one horse artillery that was right here. My plan is, now that it was finally not shaken, was to limber up, drive to right here, unlimber, and I can do this all in one move, and then shoot into the flank of this unit with six shots with canister, and I'd probably destroy this unit. However, my brigade commander is you'll recall, dead because of these guys. So my general had to come over here. And the general standing next to them, uh, anyways, blundered. And so my horse artillery fell back to here, limbered up That's good. On, a double, on a double six. And you'll note that these guys uh, are fresh off killing basically two horse units, are now going to kill the last unit because they were able to charge to there from here. So to do this, he needed three moves, which is one, two, and then three. So, of course, he got the triple move. So now, <clears throat> they're winning the game. Uh, those lads are in that farmhouse. That's six points. This hill is taken by them, so that's another one point. 
this ill is taken by them as another three points. So that's ten points, and all I've got is this one lousy uh, point over here. So, Although, when this dies, and it will die, because it's in March, uh, no, it's a limbered uh, artillery piece, and he's going to get a million dice. I'm going to be down to only one brigade, and that will cause uh, my general to take a test every turn to see if the, uh, the whole force falls back. So it is winding down, but, you know, it is pretty... Uh, you know, the French are running away, so it, I guess it's sort of historical. Well, it's looking grim. Uh, I'm down to one brigade, uh, because, of course, the Hussars annihilated the uh, <coughs> horse artillery. So this unit here has formed a square. These other units are retiring, and they're about to get shot to shot the bejesus out of each other. Or, uh, Well, these trees are actually protecting them, but... It's mostly these guys I'm worried about. So right now I'm just trying to take a few brigades with me uh, as I fall back. So, or at uh, battalions. So that is that. What? What? What other rules? Your guns don't have to move. Okay, they're, they're not, not within 12 inches. Then they're not going to move, and they're going to fire at you. Yeah. Probably do nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it ends. All I had left was this, this, and this. These guys moved up, um, shot. So he moved 36 inches and then shot at super short range. Yeah, skirmishers are way too good, I think. So I'm going to have to definitely assemble some of mine. These guys uh, just moved up from here, so I just saw my dead pile. Um, but yeah, when my brig or when my force was under half, all my guys have to retire that are within 12 inches. So he had these guys really close to my units just to basically escort them off the table, uh, much like in Flames of War. Uh, and these guys, they're just within 12, so they would have to retire as well. And then at this point, my guns only have a 45 degree angle, so I couldn't see anything except for the long range stuff. So, so we'll call it there. A smashing victory for the British. Did I even kill a single brigade? Oh. <laughs> not, not a battalion, nothing. Nothing. And I lost everything. Happy Christmas to the French. Yes. Zutalo. <laughs> oh, thanks for the game. It was good, uh, even though I was on the losing side. But uh, even on a big giant table like this, it was very, very fluid, so I really enjoyed it. So it was good. Um, yeah, excellent. Yeah, I need to uh, paint some skirmishers for sure.